Once the first plane was off the ground, everybody wanted to get into the act. The idea of flying took off overnight. Hiya, folks. Guess who? <laughs> These biplanes are replicas of what back in the 1930s and 40s were simply the hottest thing in the sky. In fact, now that I think of it, it might have been the only thing in the sky back in those days. In any case, replicas like this Steen Skybolt and the Pitt Special behind me are being used today by pilots to enjoy what I consider the purest, truest, and rawest form of flying. Now, my friend Chris Woods and I are going to go take these things out and show you what barnstorming is all about. You ready, Chris? You bet, John. Let's do it. <laughs> It was in planes like these that a generation of daring young men and women barnstormed and wing-walked their way across the heartland of the country. Along the way, they sold rides. Two and a half dollars for a flight with no frills, an extra five bucks for stunts. But most important, they sold the idea of flying. Their enthusiasm turned out to be contagious, and since then, America has never been quite the same.